This is my videotape testimony for a Whistleblowers Act for the state of Maryland and the state of Illinois concerning the prison industry and my false imprisonment December 2007 to June of 2008 and also my false imprisonment in February of 2011 to May of 2011 in which I won my trial. Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake has this information. She's had it since a, a while. She has it all. And it's about the prison industry and the money in the prison industry. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower. And what it is, is it fully discusses what's been going on in the state of Maryland and the state of Illinois concerning mass incarceration and corruption in the courts. Corruption in Illinois. That's corruption in Maryland. That's the prison industry of 2010. That's Illinois. Alright. That's Governor O'Malley. And all this information can be found in Schellenberger's office, Chief Johnson's office, Judge Turnbull, Judge Souter, Judge Papaya, Judge Janae. It can also be found in Bernstein's office, Belfield's office, Bats and Davis's Internal Affairs Division. Concerning Illinois. You can find it in Lake County, Mayor Hyde, Mayor Sabanja, Mayor Moxley, Nurheim, LaRue, Waller, Judge Bridges, Judge Foreman, Judge Rossetti, Judge Hall, and Public Defender Bailey. Everything that I'm telling you is on mail receipts and everything is legal. It's a document it's a docu it's a documentary about racism. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower. And each person has this information. Each person is tied to it. That's the jailhouse diary from 2007. Alright. I contacted the FBI, the Department of Justice. You can read. I'm going slow enough for you to read. This has pages and pages of it. Times and dates. Times. Hearings. Who said what? Blagojevich, Keith Grant, Public Defender's Office, Judge Phillips. This is the jailhouse diary from 1986. Like I said, I'm a whistleblower in the prison industry. That's me. That's Longmire and Benny Starks, because I was locked up with Benny Starks. All right? Got everything documented. And it's documented to this degree. It's a legal notice. Baltimore County, Lake County, and Baltimore City. Case number CF 4988. It's like Dred Scott. I'm a free man in one state and I'm a slave in another. You can read it. Dred Scott decision 1857. Change of place of trial. I went to my trial hell here in Maryland because I was a free man in Maryland. I was the barbecue guy in Maryland. Alright. See who was contacted. President Barack Obama has this. I'm a whistleblower. You locked up a whistleblower for exposing the corruption in the courts. And the controller has this. Caminettes has this because Baltimore City, Baltimore County, y'all got to go through the controller because that's where your money comes from. I'm a whistleblower on the prison industry. I showed the corruption in the courts. I named the judges, the lawyers, and the politicians involved. And I turned over my information to the Department of Justice. Eric Holder has it. Eric Holder. Ronald Davis. Tammy Brown, that's from Lake County, President Obama. And see that? That's the Civil Division. 2011, March, while I was in jail, because I was still doing my legal work. That's Judge Pearson. That's Judge Pearson. So find these records in Judge Pearson's courthouse, in his room. Find this paperwork in Frank Conway's office, the Civil Division. Mr. Conway. Alright? 
Because on March 18th, I was instructed, because I was blowing the whistle on Spring Grove, I was instructed to get a hearing. And I filed for it. This is Spring Grove, Office of the Attorney General. All right? Because the treatment of the prisoners and patients in Spring Grove is illegal. It's part of y'all's prison industry. Prescription medication, turning them into drug addicts and dope fiends. I won my case. The court ordered you to return my property. You haven't returned it in Illinois. You haven't returned it in Maryland. This is a court order to return the property. See it? The entire documents, the defendant's truck, Chevrolet. Alright? All my material. That's a body attachment. That means that you were supposed to lock somebody up for stealing my property. But Governor O'Malley stopped that. That's my whistleblower's application to the state's attorney's office on February the 2nd, 2011. You locked up a whistleblower on February the 7th. You turned this evidence over to Schellenberger. That's called conspiracy in the state's attorney's office. That's called conspiracy in the state's attorney's office. You need to be disbarred because you had full knowledge of it too. You, Schellenberger, Bernstein, committed perjury, obstruction of justice, and you conspired to deny blacks, Hispanics our rights under the Constitution. That's April 2011. Like I said, O'Neill, subject. It's the prison industry. It's the art of getting money. Governor O'Malley approved this program in 2006, before my son was murdered in Zion, Illinois. My son had nothing to do with this documentary. But when my son was murdered, I had a vested interest in it. Business development, crime and policing issues, and job development. This program been in effect since 2006, okay? That's the case where Governor O'Malley sent police to my house. That's the case. Go get it. Review it. That's the case that I won. I beat you in court and I used the law to do it. And this is the film that I got. Like I said, y'all stole my property, but I got the master copies. I got all the DVDs and all the tapes I need from my whistleblower's application to the president. I got the green cards, and I'm not an illegal alien. I'm a whistleblower, and you're going to have to act on this information. The state's attorney is, needs to be held accountable. Y'all did this to Dixon. Well, you got to do Mosby. You got to do Bernstein, and you got to do them all. This is a true copy. Julie answer the clerk of the court Dwayne Davis versus the state of Maryland you see that Governor O'Malley that's in 2010 you locked me up to keep me from taking Governor O'Malley Bank of America SunTrust Bank and Insurance Incorporated to the to court it's about Dred Scott it's about blacks having no rights in which white people respect and I showed you that the, we traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and we steal a cash crop. That's the plantation owner. That's the overseer of the plantation. And it's the art of getting money under O'Malley's machine. I did everything I'm supposed to do. We're going to see if the Constitution works for us. Because we know that mainstream media works for the machine. And they got all this information. Baltimore Sun has participated in this false information since the beginning. The Baltimore Sun needs to be held accountable for libel and defamation of character. I was making a movie about y'all's politics and y'all's politicians. And I've been doing it since 2006. And y'all got mad about it. It's the Minority Report. It's about being black and white America. 
There goes my privacy act. Dutch Rufusberger, Senator Cardins, Durbin, Attorney General. That's my case number. It's a documentary. And Mikulski got all of it. I got everything documented. And I got your AOL signatures on it. Kurt Anderson knows about it. Alright. You signed it. And I came to Annapolis to show it. Commode a motion? No. It was a Baltimore lie. I'm going to terrorize y'all with the truth. And then I'm going to get it in the court. And that's what it's going to do. Baltimore Sun, WBAL, WJZ, mainstream media, we got a war on you because you declared me a terrorist. And I'm just going to terrorize you with the truth. Tell the truth. Give me back my property. Let me be that upstanding citizen I've been being. Or we're going to go to court again. And all this information is going to be entered into a federal court. I'm going to make you lock me up. I'm going to make you tell the truth.